Hello guys, today in this tutorial, I will discuss about array push method. So array push method is most important and we mostly use it many important uh, places like uh, when we uh, make a cart, a uh, shopping cart. So this time we use array push method. So it's the most important. So in this video, I will discuss about how you can do array push method. So guys, to show the example, first of all, here I will create an array. So where and the variable name is array and here. I will put some array value so a and uh, b okay so I'll put some two array values that is a and b and after that in the in dot uh, html file just here I will create a button because array push method only works on click method so here I will create a button and in this button I will write a click method so button type is button and now here I will write on click so on click and the method name is i would like a my function so you can write any name of the method and parenthesis and the but button name i will write click and now just method name i will copy from here and just here i will paste and now here i will use arrow function so the syntax of arrow function is equals to equals to an arrow and now first of all here i will print the original value of the array so here so before that here in the dot html file just here i have to be uh, write a h2 tag because in this h2 tag i will print original value of an array so h2 and inside this h2 tag i will take an id so id is demo and now copy i will copy this demo id name and now document dot get element by id parenthesis and the id is demo which i copied from there and now dot inner html and inside this inner html just i will write this array variable name so now first of all i will show what coming output so here is the button which i have created in our dot html file and this array value which printed in this h2 tag okay that means here and now here I will use array push method. So the syntax of array push method is just where you want to push value. So array push method add some uh, add some new value in the array. So suppose in this array I want to add some new value. So this I will copy this array variable and dot push and now inside this method suppose i want to add the value is c and now this c uh, i i have added this uh, new value c and when i will be add when i will click this button because in this button i have added a method on click method so when, when i will click this button then i have written in this function i will post some new value that is c and now i will print uh, this uh, new value in this array so same way this is this i will copy from here and again i will paste from here so here here what's up happening is this uh, first of all it's added a new value and then it's printed again this array so now save and deface it and now if i click so here you can see it's added a new value how many uh, time i will click so the, that time it's adding a new value so this is the array push method so we most we, this is most important thing and guys uh, you can uh, push um, in array so new value in dynamically like suppose uh, just here uh, here i have an input type okay so input type is text and now i will print it first of all so here is the input type so uh, suppose if uh, whatever i will type in the input and when i will click so it will be added this so now it's statically i'm adding c but uh, whatever i will uh, write in the input so it will be added in this array so this time here just uh, again i will take an id so id name i will write here input and now copy i will copy from this input name and in the my function just here i will write a variable variable name i will write input equals to and in this input variable i will write document dot get element by id and the id is 
input and input input means this one so this id because i need a value of this input because whatever value i will be uh, right here in this input so when and then i will click so it will be added so i need to access the value of this input so that's why i have taken an id and uh, this id is value so value parenthesis and now uh, instead of static c uh, if i write here input because in this input i'm uh, i'm storing the value of the input type text so instead of c if i write here input and now refresh and suppose uh, here if i type here uh, d so it's not adding uh, value is not a function okay so maybe here it's a wrong okay so now here you can see it's adding d so i mistake that i have added a parenthesis mistakenly so here uh, i remove the parenthesis and now error is gone so now here whatever you will type in this input so it will be added dynamically you can see here so suppose here if i write my channel name so here you can see it's adding everything dynamically so push method is most important thing and we mostly use everywhere so hope guys this video is helped to you and if you like this video so please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also press the notification to get more update and if you have any doubt so please comment me below i will try to solve your doubt